Hey, 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 YouTubers! Welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hatfield15 reporting for duty, and today we are back with what may be the last episode of Mega Man 11. Last time I played this game, we got past stage 2 of the Wily Fortress and moved on to stage 3, where we apparently encountered all of the Robot Masters over again. I was able to beat them all in one shot, except for Impact Man, which is ironic because Impact Man is probably like my favorite Robot Master. But, anyways, you guys, we got a little ways through the Dr. Wily boss fight before I had to end off. The last video, so you know what? Let's hope we can actually beat Wily today. So, just before we begin, you guys, to this video, please hit 15 likes. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please be sure to smash that subscribe button if you want a shout out. Be sure to show your subscription to me publicly if you want to make sure you get a shout out. Also, make sure you ring and ding that notification bell so you never miss out on any videos. So, without further said, we're all systems go for this video in three. Two, one, here we go. It might not be like the very last Mega Man 11 video I post on the channel because I heard there's like some like bonus stuff like trials and challenges and stuff. So I'm willing to try those out maybe in another video, but yeah, but anyways, uh, speaking of finale, I spent a lot of my time yesterday uh, actually preparing for the upcoming finale of Mario Maker, which is on March 3rd, the first Sunday of March. I didn't know what day it was, but it was, it's March 3rd that the finale of Mario Maker is uh, gonna be happening. I'm gonna say it's premiere because I can't really do it as a live stream, mainly due to the fact that uh, it's uh, it just takes up a lot of Wi-Fi, and Mario Maker unfortunately does need Wi-Fi to essentially run. But yeah, regardless, uh, the finale of Mario Maker is gonna be good. I already got up to level eight. I've got like 80 lives by that point in time, so I'm on a spectacular run, and it's all so far all good times for the finale of Mario Maker coming up. So yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure I knock these guys out as much as I can because they are a little bit of a nuisance in the previous video. Now, yeah, boom. Ah, oh, we actually got him. I didn't think we would get him. Oh, ooh, baby, we're, that was getting close to hitting us. Okay, I think, I'm not sure if I actually killed that guy. I think I may have at least, I may have stunned him in the very least. Ow. Ah, crap, but don't worry. There's a nice big health pellet down at the bottom of this, but yeah, I've made the thumbnail for Mario Maker. I've counted up some statistics for it. I mean, my free trial of uh, Adobe Premiere Pro ended yesterday, so I might try and purchase the full version, because I want to make a couple edits to the finale when it comes about. Okay, now we're just going to grab this. Now, I want to make sure I actually spare my stuff for a long time. Now, I know Chain Blast uh, and apparently Acid Berry are very effective against this, and I also apparently discovered a little secret about uh, what, like the second stage, like kind of like the second phase of the first stage of the Wily boss fight here. Okay, yeah, we got eight capsules here. Oh, wait, these are probably for the Robot Masters. Uh, I mean, I, can, I understand how a bunch of them would fit in, but I'm not sure about, like, the thicker and wider ones, like Impact Man, Torch Man, and uh, most likely Bounce Man. I can see the others fitting in nice and well, however. Ah, oh, Mega Man. Congratulations are in order. Not gonna lie, Wily's voice is actually pretty good. And again, he's like probably one of those egotis egotistical villains I've ever seen in gaming, but yeah, yeah, inspire, inside, aside from his massive ego, I gotta say his voice is pretty good, but at least in this game we actually, we actually find out how he originally snapped, it was not because Dr. White, Light was originally taking up all the attention, and even though Light's a really good guy, but yeah, we now know like why Wiley originally snapped, okay, oh, oh, ah, crap, wrong gear, damn it. Okay. Woo! Okay. Uh, okay, I've got to try and rocket ride a little bit. Okay. Uh, crap. Overheated my gear. That's not what I was trying to do, damn it. Ah! Alright. Alright. Okay, at least it's easy. At least it's. It's more or less. At least it's more or less easy to dodge a bunch of this stuff. Uh oh. Come on, man. I was doing so well the past game. Why can't I get this one? Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Yep, I mean, we can easily hit him with, like, regular blasts. There we go. Up, uh, up. Uh, uh oh Okay. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to be careful because I want to save... Uh, I want to save my E-Tank for when it's uh, much later on and more necessary. Woo! Ow! Come on, man. I mean, I know I can easily destroy them, so... Ow! Come on, man. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm not going to give up so easily. Ow! Come on! Uh, okay, it's okay. It's all right. I have the one E tank, but I just need to make sure I spare it this time. Boom! There we go. We finally got past that one. Oh, there we go. 
Uh, I know. I mean, I, I, I hear that this. Uh, I hear that the uh, Wily machine apparently has multiple weaknesses, and apparently you can actually target that one gear that's like right down there and actually like stun him a bit. But you know what? I'm doing rather good with the whole rocket ride thing, even so. Uh oh. Uh oh, it just occurred to me on like my last. That was like my last chain blast, but boom. Okay, all right. Um, I think yeah, I heard acid barrier is also another uh, weakness. Okay. I'm gonna wanna hit it like that for this last go. Okay, all right, that first phase wasn't so bad. I think I still have a meteor, uh, a pretty good, a decent, I have a decent amount of stuff left. Genius does prevail sometimes, but not when you're an evil maniac bent on global domination. Now, I heard acid barrier is also effective against them. Yeah, you see that? Oh, I didn't know you could actually destroy the gears. Well, I mean, they are, they are just your standard uh, projectiles, so there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, he's, it is just like, it is, he does kind of look like Sans from Undertale, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, yeah, I should have expected him to use, like, speed gear or something like that. I totally should have anticipated that. Ah, uh-oh, okay, uh, might want to use my next, and probably last thing. Okay, I should have gotten a mystery tank, so they'll refill both. I heard Scramble Thunder is actually also particularly effective against the dude. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, okay. Get back. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Um. Speed gear. Yeet. And boom. Come on. How do I hit this guy now? There we go. Out. Crap. Crap. Oh. Ah. Uh, come on, man. What do I gotta do to hit him? He is. Man, he is a real hard boy to hit, isn't he? Yep. Uh. Okay. Crap. Might want to use my next. Uh. Weapon saying chain blast. I don't think it's gonna be very effective from here on in, but yeah. Uh oh, all right. Up. Oh, okay. And okay, we can easily just dodge through that. Yeet. Ah. Okay. I guess it's easier to use speed gear at this part, so we could. It's just like easier to dodge because he'll actually like cling on. It's like he'll be like, wait a minute, you're not on this end, and I won't proceed to the other end. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. This doesn't really seem to be working that good. So you know what? We may as well just stick it with acid barrier. Okay. Come on. Oh, come on, dude. What the hell? Ah, crap. Okay, this is not looking good. Uh-oh. Shoot. Ah, oh, boy. Well, this is probably going to be, uh... Oh, God. This, as long as this doesn't turn out to be, like, uh, Yellow Devil, where it's just an absolute pain in the arse, then I'm good with whatever. Oh, we're so close to beating him. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We are so close. Come on. Come on. Yeah, baby. Woo! Through one three HP. Whoa! I actually did not think I'd get this on the first go, but holy smoky day, we actually did it. Whoa! That was close. You leave me no choice. Time for Plan B. Oh, are you kidding me? It's not over. Oh great! Wait, what? Oh great! Really? You're just gonna cower. You're just gonna cower like a weenie. You can't fool me that easily. Yeah, he's he do that all the time, and you never really change. But don't act so cocky. I didn't lose to you. You sure about that? I lost to my own technology. My double. Here he goes again with the massive I'm ego. The I'm a genius. <laughs> wow. My my, you never learn from your mistakes. Exactly. Wait, wait a minute. What's Doctor Light doing Light. here? It just occurred to me. What's he what doing here? What are you doing here? You you plagiarist. Oh boy, Open Wiley. Your eyes, Wiley. Look at Mega Man and tell me what you see. An arch nemesis? Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> All I see is the instrument of my downfall. Ex yep, exactly. Mega One of Man many has downfalls. Tremendous power, but he has the intelligence to use it wisely. He's your vision and mine combined. If our ideas, our gears could mesh together, Mega Man would be the result. We achieve this together. Oh. It's not too late, Albert. Atone for your crimes and join me again. Oh, I wouldn't have expected this. Silence! My plans have only just begun. And you. there it is. And I won't stop until I see both of you kneeling before me in utter defeat. <laughs> Wiley just never changes, what does he? Wiley. Uh, yeah, you realize he's not gonna. Oh. Remember this. Dr. Wily always strikes again! Well, I guess we'll see you in the next Mega, Mega Man, Man game. Yep. Wily! <laughs> he never changes, does he? Yep, exactly. My old friend, 
Perhaps our gears will never mesh together. You think? Oh, okay, hold up. The fortress is collapsing. Yeah, what, how did he even get here to begin with? Otto? What the hell are you doing here, too? Ah, Otto! Did you succeed? Succeed in what? Oh, good, Doc! But if you don't mind my saying so, I think it's about time we blow this joint! Yeah, preferably before Dr. we Lynch, get blown up. Follow me! Oh, is it gonna be an escape sequence? Oh, okay, maybe not. It would've- that would've been fun if we had, like, a little escape sequence in the game, kinda like in Metroid. Is that it? Oh, okay, so that's how we escape. Good old rush, doggo. As long, I hope it doesn't rush out, however. Oh, that's it! Alright, well, I guess that's the end of Mega Man 11. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm again, I'm definitely more a Metroid, uh, I'm definitely more of a fan of Metroid rather than Mega Man, but you know what? I still say it was a pretty fun experience to play this game in my, in my own rights. Dr. Wright? Um, okay. Oh, yeah, it's like, Jap they said Japanese actors, because, yeah, there's, it's, there's also, like, it's also in Japanese rather than, uh, just in American, but, anyways, again, uh, not too bad of a, not too bad of a game, if I do say so myself, it was pretty good, again, Metroid's definitely better, but there's a lot of things I actually enjoyed about it, and plus the fact they introduced the whole double gear system, the double gear system was actually pretty cool in my opinion, the fact that you can overclock your, um, you can overclock your main weapon, but at the same time, you, uh, at a separate time, I should say, you could also, uh, you can also slow down the flow of time, and, and of course, when you're at critical health, you can use both of them, even though it weakens you for a short time afterwards, but, yeah, even so, I mean, I, I did really like, uh, Wait, is Otto a freaking plane? <laughs> oh my god, Otto, you are a freaking legend, dude. Oh, okay, I was wondering who the chairman was, but that's with uh, the cutscenes back when Light and Wily were younger. Okay, we can even see the voice actors for all the robot masters. Okay, Chris Smith for Acid Man, Impact Man, Jesse Merlin, Bounce Man, Bonnie Gordon. Okay, again, I definitely like the whole concept of the whole double gear system, even though I have some issues with it, mainly due to the fact that it closely emulates the, the two of the four Aeon abilities from Samus Returns. I have a little issues with that because of how closely it emulated them, but even so, I guess it was still pretty fun to use them. And of course, again, I mean, I feel like uh, there should be more to this game because, you know, I guess it, I just don't really like the fact that it's all just like a short game where, you're, where it's like eight levels and you only just, like your only goals essentially are just to feed all the robot masters and go through like four more levels to beat the final boss. I mean, I feel like there should have been like more Robot Masters. I mean, if there were 12 Robot Masters, in my opinion, and of course the four levels for the Gear Fortress, whatever, I feel like that would have made this game a little better. But then again, I guess Mega Man games are kind of known for that, just being eight Robot Masters and then just four, like, uh, final levels for the, uh, for the Gear Fortress, like, kind of like the final section. And I know it's, uh, I mean, even in, even if it isn't the original Mega Man X, I mean, Mega Man, like, 11, let's say. I, of course, I haven't seen... Uh, like Mega Man EXE, Volnut, Star Force, all that stuff, but even so, I feel like there should have been, like, uh, a lot more to do in this game, because, yeah, I just feel like 8 Robot Masters was enough. I mean, like I said, maybe 10 or 12 would have been good. I guess it just would have kept me around a little longer, but anyways, even so, I mean, of course, we still have, like, the extras to go, and I even, like, uh, like, sure, we kind of know why Dr. Wily was bad in the first place, I guess, mainly it was because, I guess, Dr. Light was kind of taking all the attention, uh, even though Dr. Wily was just as big a genius as him, but I guess we also found out how Wily originally, like, snapped, like, how he originally, like, turned bad, and it was because, uh, of, like, trying to suppress the whole double gear system thing, mainly because of the dangers it posed, so, yeah, I kind of like how they shed some light on Wily's backstory and how he originally snapped, so, yeah, like I said, just backstory, because if there's one thing I like about games, it's, like, backstory and lore, because you can't really just go into a game, like, not knowing, like, what's going on and stuff. Like, you gotta have, like, a little bit of, like, lore and backstory, so I guess that's just kind of what went in with that. The music wasn't so bad, and I like how, the, like, the voice acting was pretty top-notch, and I feel like the voice actor for Mega Man uh, in this game was actually pretty good. I feel like it was pretty fitting, because he isn't exactly, like, a child, nor so an adult, but, yeah, even so, I guess the voice acting, in my opinion, was pretty top-notch and straight-on, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I forgot about those little uh, floating battery things. I completely, completely forgot about those. But again, if you had to ask me what my three favorite robot masters were, it would definitely be Impact Man, Fuse Man, and of course Blast Man. Maybe, like the stages themselves were actually pretty good, but Block Man stage was probably the most infuriating, mainly because either I was just that bad at Mega Man because I had never played it before, or maybe it was just that grueling and infuriating beat, but yeah, I mean, it gave me a little bit of challenge regardless. I mean, all the stages in their own rights kind of gave me a little challenge by themselves, so I guess, yeah, I mean, what's a game without some form of challenge, but 
yeah, I guess I was able to overcome those challenges either way in the end, so, yeah, what's to complain about, but anyways, uh, I gotta give this game, uh, 7.7 .7 out of 10. Again, never played a Mega Man game before. I mean, I played Mega Man X in preparation for this game, but even so, I gotta say, this is a pretty good game regardless, and I might try and play... I don't, I don't know, I might play... I may or may not play more Mega Man games in the future. I, I don't know. That's a very uncertain thing at this time. Hey, I like how that uh, mini boss is just kind of turning up to the music here. Again, like I said, the music is actually pretty good. It ain't Metroid OST, but still, it's pretty good in it, all in its own right. Okay, and I, again, I definitely kind of like how it's like a little rewind, like we're like taking a look back at like all the enemies and stuff. Okay, I don't think I saw like the drones yet. Oh yeah, that's that mammoth. I forgot about things like the mammoth and such. I mean, I mean uh, it kind of surprises me that like uh, it, it goes from Tundra Man and then Torch Man, but then again, looking at their abilities, it kind of makes more sense now because the wind can put out fire, and so yeah, I would have thought like fire would like melt ice and then ice would also like cool down fire. Eh, whatever, that's, it just, it's just surprising, you know? And then again, oh yeah, here we go, we finally got the Robot Masters, Block Man, alright, yeah, peace, after all the trouble you put me through, Fuse Man, my boy, yeah, casual snazzy old snap, eh? Blast Man, definitely one of my favorites, I can definitely relate to this dude because explosion is art. Acid Man, my boy, the chemical crazy maniac. Tundra Man, the off-brand Metaton from this series. Torch Man, uh, keep going on with uh, Torch Jutsu, whatever kind of martial art that may be. Impact Man, my boy, I freaking love your stage, I love your boss fight even more. Bounce Man, oh my god, I feel so bad for killing this guy, like, you look so docile and innocent, it makes me feel like I'm the bad guy. Yellow Devil, oh, I know why they call you the Yellow Devil, because you are... For a while, you were like the bane of my existence here. Oh, oh, I thought it was gonna be Dr. Wily, but it's just like Malvern. I think this thing's called Malvern, but I'm pretty sure, like, just up ahead, it's uh, yep, it's Dr. Wily. Ha, ah, Wily, it's just like what Dr. Light said. Will you ever learn from your mistakes? Clearly not, because we still have Bowser making the same mistakes he did. Well, yeah, of course, yeah, villains just never change, you know. Overall, again, I gotta say, pretty good game, really enjoyed it, even though. Yeah, it's really uncertain I'll be playing more Mega Man in the future, but you never know, I could play another Mega Man game should it come about. Huh. <sighs> Overall, again, really good game. Oh, we got Mega one more cutscene. Home. Hey. Right on time, Mega! Right on time for what role? Then again, like I said, the role voice, uh, the role voice actor, oh my god, that was just uh role is so adorable in this game. Presented by Capcom. Alright, again, thank you very much for that game, Capcom. I really had a good time enjoying it, and of course, like I said, it's not over because there's still, I believe, some bonuses and trials. At the rate we're going, we should have all eight robots back on their feet by dinner time. Yeah, because why did Otto have a speed Doctor, gear there? Did you install Mega's double gear system into Otto? Uh, looks like it, because he's carrying, uh, Blockman. Just as soon as Otto's done working. Yeah, Otto seems to be handling it so pretty well, seeing as how he's carrying, uh, Blockman. Yes. We were able to recover all their primary components, so they should be just like new. Oh, okay, so the Robot Masters are back to normal, I guess. They're just, uh, they're back to their original purpose before Dr. Wily came and kidnapped them and made them evil. You bet. All's well that ends well. Oh, come on, Roll. Give Otto a break. Oh god, I can only, I only, I feel bad for Otto because he'll soon be carrying like Impact Man or whatever. Ah, uh, thanks, uh, thank you, uh, Eddie, the uh, gear cooldown thing. Oh, wow, thank you for playing, uh, Protector of Peace. Wow, <laughs> everyone is here, except Dr. Wily and Yellow Devil. Alright, wow, <laughs> that was, that was pretty something. Um, if you quit without saving your completion, oh, oh, no, wait. Oh yeah, I probably do want to save. Override save data? Yeah, let's go ahead and save that. Now let's see, uh, where are the trials and all that? Okay, this is going to bring us back to the main menu, isn't it? Wow, okay. Well, like I said, pretty good game, uh, great ending, good to see all's well that ends well. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, I don't know, what, I don't understand why they bring us back to the thing. Let's play special game modes. Okay, here we are. Uh, challenges, uh, leaderboard, records, few records you've unlocked. Gallery, oh, okay, weird and wonderful characters. Oh, okay, so here's the gallery we can find out all the... All day. We can find out the names of the enemies. Lyric, an autonomous security drone that bashes into intruders. Not much of a threat on its own, but a swarm of these can be great 
uh, can cause trouble to even the greatest uh, and toughest uninvited, uninvited visitor. Uh, yeah, these things, they move rather slow, but even so. Okay, we got two separate sections. One for enemies, one for bosses. Um, Marar C? A roller bot designed to fly an uneven ground. Its tough shell lets it ram into walls all day without suffering damage, but sometimes it loses control and plummets into pits. Yeah, kind of like Goombas and Green Koopas. Crushed on. This all-purpose hammering robot can work with wood, metal, and even... Uh, delicious flatbread. Oh, wow, okay, you must have, like, the, a giant freaking pieces of uh, bread for it. Uh, it reveals the hammer maintenance platform on its back. Handy. Oh, okay, so that's, like, a something. Metal. Oh, uh, okay, I was wondering, because I, I saw on the internet it was called Metur, but maybe that's a Japanese translation. A robot designed for to work, a, a robot designed for work on construction sites where safety first is a golden rule. Its helmet is so safe it can even deflect Mega Buzzer shots. Airstone, using high-tech optical camouflage to lie in and wait in it for an intruder approaches. This spot shows up out of nowhere and launches showers of rock-hard bullets. Anti-Eddie, hiding underground. This sinister mockery of Mega Man's buddy Eddie will snatch up items and carry them away. It was designed to attack Mega Man, but for some reason it always runs away instead. How do you beat those things? I'm not sure. Like, I, I feel like you're supposed to actually destroy them so you can get an item. Maybe it's just like the things uh, from Metroid Fusion. Uh, okay, yeah, there is a lot of enemies here. I don't think I'm gonna have time to go over them. Uh, let's see, uh, Sniper Joe, Propeller IT, uh, Shimobi. This sector robot used in Hero shows uh, as the evil foot soldier. Dreaming of someday playing the hero, it always tries to look its best at, as the hero's beat it up. Huh, okay, so it's all like actors and stuff. Alright, yeah, we have got a freaking lot of enemies right here. Okay, wait, what was... Oh, we can get the names of the mini bosses here. Uh, Totemer, Dread Spark, uh, Thrill Twins 1 and 2, Cyclone W, Mecha Mamostal, Sparky, Pikmin, Digger, and Frog Balloon. Alright, let's check out the bosses now. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, there's lines here. So a job getting here. What are you doing here? Never thought you'd make it this far. They'll drop you like a ton of bricks. Yeah, you dropped me quite a bit, but yeah, eventually I'm the one who still won. You're just another brick in the wall! You're a few bricks short of a load! I don't know why, but the whole few bricks short of a load thing really gets me. Oh, okay, it's just extended stuff. Blockman was designed to specialize in building the outer walls of major projects. He's always secretly dreamed of building a vast structure that recreates the bygone ages of pyramids and temples. Uh, ever full of energy, he keeps the robots on um, his sights working full tilt. The only problem being that he sometimes loses his temper when his labors can't keep up with them. Blockman often works together with Impact Man. The two are sometimes seen going to an oil bar to share a drink after a long day of construction. Yeah, because that's that's exactly how we just uh, leave a whole day's work, whole day's worth of work behind. We just go about it. Okay, wow, that fuse man. Let's look at this uh, entrance animation. Whoa, okay, wow, I don't know why, but that electricity glow, holy crap, that is so cool. I might want to actually get a little snapshot of that. Oh, that's the one for the keepers. Uh, let's see, Blast Man, woo! Oh, I love that guy, Explosion is art. Acid Man, Tundra Man, Torch Man, and of course, Impact Man. A construction support robot built to withstanding, built to withstand the toughest working conditions. Impact Man mainly works on the foundations of construction projects. His body made up is made up of three independent pilot drivers who call themselves the Impact Brothers. Kui Ichiro, uh, Kui Ichiro, Kui Jiro, and Kui Saburo. I have no idea how to say that, but yeah, okay, I have no idea. Yeah, I, oh yeah, I remember those were like flying impact, flying pile drivers with like eyes. Oh, I remember that now. He, he never hesitates and always rushes into action. His motto is just push through. So once he's accepted a job, nothing can stop him from smashing through in record time. Usually, Kuri Ichiro is the oldest of the Impact Brothers, takes control when they're fully combined into Impact Man, but sometimes the youngest, Kiri Sabro, steps in when his big bro is worn out. Meanwhile, Kiri Jiro is the unruly middle child and can't be trusted to take his reins. Uh, okay, I don't know which one is which, but uh, I guess we know we can't trust him. Yellow Devil Mach 3, the newest model of the Yellow Devil, the he a, heinous a, he a heinous device designed uh, with the express purpose of defeating Mega Man. Wily has equipped this model with a speed gear to ensure there's no possible way Mega Man can dodge its tricky split attacks. 
Yeah, because that was absolutely infuriating. All right, so that's enough with the gallery auto upload. Okay, wait, Gazy Gallery, change your auto upload setting for scores and replays. All right, records, view the records you've unlocked. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of stuff we, like, there's a lot of stuff we actually haven't unlocked yet. No getting away uh, this time. Complete uh, that protector of peace. Complete the game on normal difficulty or harder. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of freaking stuff here. Cold turkey. Uh, prevent Sparky, the barbecue turkey, from relighting. It excludes challenge mode. Uh, okay. Wow. There's, like, again, just a whole lot of stuff I never would have actually seen here. Okay. Wait. What's this? Collect five parts. Uh, all power all the time. Destroy any, uh, destroy 80 enemies using power gear. First play excludes challenge mode. Leaderboard. All right, let's try out some of these challenges here. Okay, we haven't got much time here, so I'll try one challenge, then I'll save the other challenges for the bonus episodes coming up. Congratulations on your progress in the main game. Special weapons are now available for use in challenges. Okay, well, uh, complete each stage as fast as you can. Oh, okay. All right, well, this is going to take quite a few bonus episodes, so you know what? We may as well just imply them into the main series, not really bonus episodes. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and off, end off the video here, you guys. Like I said, great game all in its own rights, and I'm really excited to try out all these challenges and stuff to see how well I do on them. So, for now, that's about all the time we've got today. So, thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe, leave comments down below, because I like them, and crank that like button to the max like Soldier Boy. Till then, I'm Hatfield15. Space out, bros and bros, he does.